Hi, this video is going to cover the basics of searching for articles in the PsycInfo database. A database is a, is a subscription resource that contains thousands of magazine and journal articles. You can't access a database like PsycInfo by using a search engine like Google, but you can by going through the library. Navigating to PsycInfo is pretty simple. First, go to the library's homepage, www.try-c.edu slash library. Next, you'll want to click on the Subject Guides link on the left-hand side of the page. This will take you to a list of every major subject offered by Tri-C. From here, click on Psychology, and then Psychology a second time. Then just click Psych Info. You'll see that there are three search boxes here. This is where you'll want to type in your search terms, also known as keywords. It's important to use individual words or phrases in these boxes because the database won't understand what you want if you type an entire question in there. You can think of keywords as the nouns in the question you're trying to ask. To give you an example, let's start with an initial question. How does television violence affect children? Well, we're going to need to pull the nouns out of this question. We can treat television violence as a phrase, or we could also use a phrase like media violence, which would include television violence, but also movies, video games, etc. Thinking of similar words can be a good idea in case the first term you try doesn't quite give you the results you wanted. Next, children is definitely a noun. And finally, we could pick out the word effects. Now that we have our possible keywords, Let's look at how using them in the database can affect your results. If we just do a search for television violence, we get 374 results. But by adding just one more word, like children, our results go down to 189. And by adding just one extra word, like effects, it's further reduced to 114. The more specific you make your search, the fewer results you're going to have to look through, and usually the more relevant your results are going to be. Now, if you're new to using databases, it may be a good idea to add your search terms one at a time like I just did. If you search for every word all at the same time, you may end up with too few results to really work with. For right now, 114 is a fairly large number, so let's try to get this down to a more manageable count. First, if you look on the left, you'll see that these articles date back to 1967. Now, television programming has changed a little bit since then, so if we want to get a current, realistic discussion of our topic, we'll need to change the age of these articles. So, let's go ahead and click on this date slider and drag it to let's say 2008. That will tell the database that only articles between 2008 and 2012 are what we want to see in the results. Great, so suddenly we're down to 20 articles, which is a really good number. Now, just in case you still have a lot of results, there are two other strategies I want to briefly share with you. If you look under the title of an article, you'll see that there are many different subjects that have been tagged there. Now, while I scroll through these, it looks like the articles that I'm most interested in contain subjects like violence, aggressive behavior, mass media, television, and television viewing. So, if you look on the left, you'll notice that there's a section labeled Subject Major Heading. Go ahead and click that, and then click show more. From here, we can scroll through and click those subjects that we want to limit to. When you specify certain subject terms, any article that doesn't have at least one of these subjects is going to be excluded from our results. So, let's just go ahead and click update. Okay, so that reduced our results by two. And finally, if there's ever a particular age range that you're trying to find, 
there is a subject for age down here. And if you just click the age category, it will further limit your results. The key thing here is that there's no one absolutely right way to use PsycInfo. It's best to mix and match your strategies until you find a combination that works best for you. And if you ever have trouble finding the material that you're looking for, you can always call the library at 216-987-2088 to get research assistance from a librarian. Now, once you've located an article that you think you may want to use, it's a really good idea to click on the title of that article. This is going to take you to a page that includes the article's abstract. This is basically a summary of what the article talks about. So in a fraction of the time that it would take you to read this whole article, you could find out, number one, if the article talks about it, what its title implies, and number two, if it would be useful for your assignment. To read an article, you would either need to click on the PDF full text link, or in some cases this link would say HTML full text. But if you're printing an HTML article, you can just click on the printer icon on the far right. To print a PDF article, you'll need to click on the PDF or link on the left first, and then click on the printer icon located inside the PDF itself. For a PDF, if you click on the printer icon on the right, that will only print you a citation. It's just an important distinction to be aware of between HTML and PDF articles, but again, if you have any questions regarding that, you can always ask the library. Now to cite an article, you can click this yellow piece of paper on the right that says Cite. From here, you can just copy and then paste your APA citation onto your references page. Now it's important to take a minute to review the citation for accuracy, paying special attention to things like uh, proper capitalization. And let's go back to our result list for a moment here. Now if you do come across an article with a find it button, and let's just use number 11 as an example here. This just means that PsycInfo doesn't have immediate access to this article, but by clicking Find It, you can search for it elsewhere. So in this case, we found this article in the Ohio Link Electronic Journal Center. To access the article, I'll just click the title here, and then the PDF full text link in the upper left hand corner. So from here, I can print this PDF by clicking on the printer icon inside the PDF window, but I can't generate a citation from within the Electronic Journal Center. So I'll need to make sure to go back to PsycInfo click the title, and then click on Cite to get the citation. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can always contact the library if you have any additional questions.